All right, guys, so let's have a look at SPY, QQQ, and IWM. So hopefully I will be making it once a day or maybe once every two days. So just comment below whatever you want. So just simple levels to watch every single day. So QQQ, well, SPY, let's start with SPY. Yesterday we made a new all-time highs, pulled back and overnight gap down and throughout the day it did sell and came to test recent lows of um, February lows, basically. But yesterday, if you just take a look at the heat map uh, of S&P 500, um, Apple, Tesla, many other names were coming down except for semis. And semiconductors took a break today. Nvidia somehow closed positive 1%. But everything else, large caps, since you know S&P 500 is market cap weighted, when the biggest market cap stocks get hit, it's easy for it to drop 1%, 2%. So today it is down 1%. At the end of the day, it did bounce off of this uh, 504, 505 support level. So this is the support I'm watching. And also I'm gonna pull up the uh, ultra short uh, term moving averages that I'm watching and I usually watch. So this gray line, five day simple moving average, we're below it and 20 day moving average is right here, 502. So we have a Jerome Powell tomorrow. I'll be watching this level as a support, but the bigger support is right below 495. That's the next level of support for SPY. Can it push higher? Absolutely. If we take a look at the uh, large caps, but let's take a look from, let's start from Apple. Does it approaching that level where it can bounce? 167 is a support back from um, 1030. So basically, uh, October lows. Can you can you believe that Apple is testing these lows? Uh, biggest news I think is their China sales down. But officially, if you take a look at the stock from its all-time highs, down 14%. And this stock uh, may be reaching its support levels here, ultra short term. Tesla, 160, 175 basically for um, this year's low. If it makes a new low, Tesla is already in a bear market, can definitely dump. Um, you get the point. So MSFD near its 50 day, pulled back today, but the biggest sector, I'm not going to go through all of the uh, stocks because it would be too long to make this video. But keep an eye on semiconductor sector as a whole, what it does. So we have Broadcom reporting earnings, I think, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. But if these seven, eight large cap stocks chill, take a rest, SPX may not move anywhere. So QQQ, exactly the same, but QQQ today bounced off of its 20-day uh, moving average. And you can see right here, 434-ish, that's the support area I'm watching. If it does lose this blue line, which is 20-day SMA, we can test 200-day moving average, which is at the moment 422. Um, I'm going to just extend this line. So this is the 50-day SMA for QQQ. IWM. So small caps, I think this run up kind of like not really convincing run up today was, I mean, last five, six trading sessions, thanks to Bitcoin and biggest uh, stocks in IWM that are SMCI and micro strategies. SMCI will move on to SPY, S&P 500. Those two were pulling this, I mean, pushing it. And now they took a break. This index is down 1% today as well. So if we take a look at the moving averages, it can definitely test its 50 day uh, and 20 day. So 20 day at the moment is $200.50 and 50 day, this yellow line, 198. But can it bounce from here? Can money rotate into small caps? After the Fed uh, in 15, 16 days, where is that? Fed watch tool. We still have 14 more days for the FOMC meeting. And after that, it will there will be a green light. Whether are they gonna hint that they will be uh, cutting the rates or not this year. But most likely not. 
but today it held up slightly better IWM thanks to a lot of regionals I don't know surprisingly maybe bonds moved uh, possibility of rates I don't know but financials that's held up if the KRE if you don't know uh, regional index today plus four percent pretty big move it was chopping around I was maybe thinking that it can break down test its 200 day moving average but it's right at its 50 day moving average so the biggest move today and maybe that's why it didn't get hit as much as QQQ which was down two percent but that's what I'm watching I'm watching big names whatever they're gonna do that's where your market is going and if you take a look at the option activity a lot of people were let me take a look at the total volume for options I think Tesla and micro uh, Tesla and the uh, Apple were leading today in terms of like most um, options traded in the market but there are other names uh, let's let's quickly take a look most active TSLA Apple Nvidia SoFi AMD Mara Microsoft Intel Google Amazon Target Coinbase Meta Palantir SMCI so wherever these stocks are gonna go that's where your market is going but Apple Tesla getting extended Nvidia getting extended to the top so maybe rotation these will take a relief bounce and semis will pull back a little bit more because Intel was dumping basically gave up all of its earnings uh, not earnings like yesterday move and it's down five percent today but I don't know a lot of people seems like bought the dip if you look at the put to call ratio there were a lot of calls traded could be very easily covered calls but I'm not gonna dive into the option activity these are just the most options traded today um, most active names with options and that's where the focus is right now BTC pulled back but BTC alone is just consider it like just one stock the entire crypto ecosystem you can consider it just one stock because if you combine the entire crypto um, market capitalization what is it is it going to make two trillion probably around that much so one apple stock so pull back chilling at 64 something but those are the levels i'm watching so i'm uh, neutral to bearish uh going forward but we'll see what Jerome does tomorrow what he says uh, but thanks for watching see you in the next update